What a great magazine. Oh, hello. I didn't see you come in. I'm James Cunningham. Welcome to my interview to Ovation. This is my kitchen, and there aren't stairs, but I'm making it look as though there are. <laughs> Sheridan College at the time it was offering this fantastic new program, the uh, Theater and Drama Specialist degree. So uh, it was a really fantastic program because I really thought if I was going to go for higher education in those four years, like to get a degree and a diploma, I thought that was by far the best deal. And I heard that the Sheridan Theater Department was in the country one of the best. So whenever I get stressed out, I come down and build some Lego. I get stressed out a lot. Back in the late you know, 80s, early, early 90s, stand-up comedy was, was really hot, so I was just amazed at this form of theater. So I thought if I could uh, hone my acting chops around that and still have a good stand-up act, that would give me a, a huge advantage when I went out there and started auditioning for things. And uh, now, now that I'm more of an actor, I'm drawing back on my, my time uh, at Sheridan really helps. So Eat Street uh, came uh, many years after. I get this mysterious call from, from Vancouver, this guy named Peter Wall. He goes, uh, you're really funny. He goes, we're doing this new show on food trucks. And he says, I can't give you any money. I can't give you any contract right now. He goes, what do you want to do? And I go, let's do it. And uh, then the rest is history. It went to uh, 94 episodes, 40 countries around the world, and uh, seven seasons. So it was a lot of fun. Best experience I've had in TV so far. People say to me, how do you eat so much food on 8th Street and still look so good? Well, I <laughs> work out quite a bit. <laughs> oh. Early age, I realized, well, okay, if I want to go to the arts, if I want to be an actor and a comedian, I have to have my financial house in order. So, you know, my summers, I would go shoot Eat Street. Then I go on the road with uh, Funny Money. I'm the president and CEO of a company called Funny Money Inc. And uh, it was a comedy show uh, based on money, credit cards, all that kind of stuff. And we talk about uh, there's three steps uh, know your flow, control what you owe, and invest and save some dough. So, how to create a budget, how to uh, build your credit score, and make sure your credit cards work for you, and how to start saving and investing your money at 16, 17 years old. So by the time you hit 65, you've made yourself some long-term wealth. This is a Ukrainian instrument called a bandura, 28 strings. I cannot play it. I think anything that you do, whether it's a success or failure, I think it teaches you something. You know, when you have a failure, when something doesn't work, especially in stand-up comedy or in theater, when you're live and there's a crowd right there, it's instant success or instant failure. You know the minute that something's not working. And so what you do is you learn from that and you adapt on the fly. And I think that's a lot like life. When you fail or you're, you're out there, you're doing something, it's not working, you try something else. Any feedback is brilliant and it makes you a better person. Thank you for coming by. I hope you enjoyed it. Please get off my property. Thank you.